Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Justin. I'm Rachel. We're Elevation Boudoir and we are located out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And for those of you who are new to our channel, we are a husband and wife team who work every day to help empower women and build that confidence through the art of boudoir photography. Today's video is actually gonna be five tips on how to prepare for and ultimately rock your boudoir session. One thing that we understand as professionals is that a boudoir experience can be really intimidating especially if you don't know what to prepare for or what to expect going into your session. Right. So these tips we think are, while really simple, they have a huge return. So let's just jump right into it. Yeah. Our first tip for you is to actually eat before your session. I know that sounds really kind of lame, but it's something that's really important. A lot of the times with boudoir photographers, your session will last anywhere from one to three hours or more, depending on how many sets you're doing. And that's something that you really don't want to have to worry about your stomach growling, not feeling good or up for any of the poses or anything, just because you're hungry. So just make sure you eat something, whether that's breakfast or lunch or whatever time of day it is, just eat. If you go high on sugar, you're going to have a sugar crash. Yeah. Especially if you go and we break out the, you know, huge cinnamon rolls right before the shoot. Yeah, I know, they're amazing, <laughs> right? But what's gonna happen is you're gonna do that right before you walk in the door. You know, you're gonna be expecting to get that energy from it, but what's gonna happen, you're gonna be on that sugar high and you're gonna crash right about the time your hair and makeup is done and you're about to step in and start shooting. So make sure to try to find something semi-healthy and just a little bit goes a long way. You wanna maintain that energy through the shoot. Right, we definitely don't want you tired and crashing in the middle of your session. Tip number two is to stretch before your session. A lot of people will book their session a couple of months in advance, and that's great to start, whether you wanna do yoga or just simple stretches, but at least a month and the week before your session, definitely stretch, especially your legs, your arms, and your back too. It's gonna bring you a huge return when you come in for the day of your session. Even just five, 10 minutes a day, just wake up in the morning, do something simple, just regular old warm-up stretches. It's, it doesn't have to be yoga. We don't have to do some crazy pose that you've never, whatever. It's gonna help you be a little bit more limber, but it's also gonna keep you from being sore the next day because right. what do we hear all the time? My legs hurt. <laughs> the next day, you're definitely gonna feel it after your session. Doing boudoir poses, a lot of times, there's gonna be a lot of bending and you're gonna move a lot of muscles that you probably didn't even know you had. Stretching goes a long way. It'll definitely help you be a little bit more flexible too. Stretch before your shoot, stretch, after, after your, your shoot. shoot. <laughs> Tip number three, hydrate before your shoot. Can't stress this enough because it's going to have a huge return in the way your skin looks on camera. Your skin's gonna be radiant, it's gonna have a glow to it. And I'm not saying that you have to drink a gallon of water a day, but at least a daily recommended amount, whatever that is these days. I don't know, I think it changes like once a week. <laughs> but if you do that every day, by the time you lead up to your shoot, maybe a month out, maybe a couple of weeks out, you'll start to see a difference. And I promise you, you will appreciate that difference. Now we always say moisturize the day of, throw on some lotion, it's gonna help, but I promise you the water will make the biggest difference. Tip number four is all about mindset. I think it's really important to come into your session with an open mind and a clear mind. Come into it knowing that you can do this. Don't let that self-doubt creep in because I promise you, you've got this. No matter how many times you've told yourself over the last month or two or however many it's been since you booked your shoot to when your shoot date actually is, I promise you, you can do this. Mm -hmm. The I can't is not gonna get you anywhere. You can and you will, you've got this. Our last and possibly most important tip for your session is to just breathe. Breathe often, breathe normal and breathe in and out, you have to complete the cycle. It's really calming, it'll relax you, especially when your nerves are all built up. We know this is a very intimidating type photography session. So just breathe, it'll make everything easier. So that wraps up the five things that we think will help you get through your session. If you wanna see more content, make sure you comment below, let us know what you'd like to see. Also make sure you like and subscribe. And until then, we'll see you next time. We need a teleprompter. Tip number four is actually, I did three. I said tip, I said, I said tip four. Super. <laughs>